So what are we doing here? I don't know. Nice day. I thought it'd be nice to get some fresh air. You're not getting a boat. <laughs> uh, I tried. He tried. When you guys find out how much money he spent in just a few minutes, you'll agree oh, with yeah. me from last week. He's not getting a bow. Yeah, not even one like this. No. <laughs> Welcome everybody. We're not in Alaska. No, even though it looks like it. Even though she's got her parka <laughs> I'm on. I'm sporting my parka. <laughs> so we're here to talk about ugh, the subject I don't want to talk about. He brought me way out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's what I was he hoping did. she'd forget about no, it. No, not even this pretty backdrop is going to make me forget. Man. So we're going to talk about expenses. Yeah. <sighs> Everyone's got them, unfortunately. Yeah. And we thought we would share ours with you um, as it relates to our trip to Alaska. And what David uh, spent and how much fun we had. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> so. All right. So I guess we got a, like a Band-Aid, we're gonna just going to rip it off. Just rip ah! it right off. Yeah, let's so, just get started. Just so you all know, I track about 295 different categories and I've boiled it all down into, I think, six. <laughs> um, and so everything's lumped up in those six categories. Yeah, and you guys are lucky because you're only gonna get the six categories. I have to go the, through the 295 like all the time. <laughs> yes, he does. So here we go. Here we what go. do you think our Let's number one expense was? Man, okay, so my butt feels like it was fuel because mm -hmm. we were driving so much. So I'm going to say fuel. And you're absolutely right. Travel was our number one expense, but not in fuel. Okay. Yeah. So if really? we, yeah, if you look at what you spent on our excursions and travel, Ooh. traveling to get to those really cool places, Ooh. we spent $10,400. Wow. Now that's on, on the excursions and tours and stuff. That's absolutely wow. right. So for example, and I broke that into two. We had um, a lot of fun. So the travel part of it, as far as the airfare, the ferries and everything else like that, that was um, $6,750, just what it cost us to travel. So the Katmai, get two. yeah, so Katmai was like $2,700, $2, the ferry, that was all of us, the whole mm -hmm. family, including uh, Artemis and Curiosity, that was almost $2,600. Um, the one night in Katmai and the three nights on the ferry, that was $1,400, and I'm rounding. And then um, to store the Jeep, so those times that we went on all those nasty roads and we left the Jeep behind, oh, yeah. that was $140. But you know what was free? Brooks Falls was free. <laughs> yes. Katmai, getting, yeah. being at the falls with yeah. the bears, that was free. That's true, that was free. Yeah, that was a ne great never, deal. Never mind how much it cost to get there. Well, you know, but, you know um, what's $4,000 between friends, right? <laughs> oh. Oh. And, and just so y'all know, um, whether you're flying out of Homer or out of Anchorage like we did, it's, you know, flying to Katmai is about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400. Yeah. Um, so speaking of Katmai, tours and excursions, um, we spent a total of $3,650 on tours and excursions. And, and I, so I kind of, I do split that out between excursions, museums, tours, um, like trolleys and buses, just general entertainment, All firewood, parking, everything. Everything that we spent was uh, right. 3650 a campfire for us is entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so we spent $21 on that. Um, <laughs> So the, the most expensive excursion we had was going to Anan, -An, and that was the oh, tour yeah. boat, and that was $730, and yes, Katmai was free. And then um, the cheapest thing that we went on was the Iditarod, 
and that was twenty dollars. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did okay. the, the That was a lot trail. of fun with the pups. Yeah. So so then there's the the yeah. the average, and we went through all the excursions um, last on last week's video. Yeah. So we're not going to go through that, but. Um, yeah, part if you want to see the actual excursions, check out last week's video. And all the excursions just go through the entire summer on the videos. That's right. Um, but we did buy, you bought the Tour Saver book, and that was $90. I did. Yep. And, um, and of that $90, <laughs> we, we saved $478 yes. using the Tour Saver book. Yeah, and that, so that was worth it. The Hurricane Train, the yep. Gold Dredge, Riverboat, the Anan -An and the Lacant tours, and also the Major Marine, uh, the two boat tours we took out of sea. Yeah, and so that Tour Saver is really cool, and it doesn't have all the tours on there, mm -mm. but for each area, um, it will list some some good tours, and mm -hmm. they range anywhere from a buy one get one to sometimes it's just forty or fifty dollars off, yeah. but. It's uh, it was a good deal. It, it really was, was, and we also got a little bit off on one of the campgrounds that we stayed at, but that's, that's right. not part of this this expense. That's on right. This one. Yeah. That was, that's on the campground so. expenses. Neat. Yeah. So that that worked out pretty well. Okay. Um, so before we go on to the next thing, I meant to mention um, we probably should bring up. Speaking of money, cash. How much cash did we bring along oh, yeah. with us? So when we were in Florida, we went to the bank mm -hmm. and and ordered. Um, Five hundred dollars in Canadian cash, yep. and they had it shipped, and we got it. And then we brought about what thirty pounds of quarters. Man, it um, felt like fifty pounds of quarters. It did five hundred dollars in quarters yeah. because we knew we were going to be doing laundry, and I had to make some assumptions on how much laundry we were going to do. And I'll go in that just in a little bit of how much laundry we actually That's did right. do and what we spent. And some of the laundromats allowed you to use your credit card, mm -hmm. but there were a lot that did Almost not. Almost all cash. Yeah, yeah, so it was quarters or loonies. good that we had uh, quarters with us. Mm -hmm. And I used some of that Canadian cash to buy loonies and toonies or exchange yep. for loonies to, to pay for uh, some of the campground fee or yep. the laundry mats exactly. in, in um, Canada. And getting Canadian cash through your bank was super easy. Yeah. Yeah, we just went to our, our bank, uh, ordered it. It came mm -hmm. like the next day, and it was a good exchange rate. Very so. good exchange rate, yeah. yeah. All right, so, All right. so, okay, so what's the next expense? I'm ready. I'm ready. So my butt is still <laughs> sore, so I'm still going to say fuel. Very good. Yeah. So um, all our expenses that we're talking about here are border to border. So when we crossed into Osoyos on April 27th and we crossed back down through... Portal, North Dakota. Yeah, um, on September 29th. Um, so that's where all these expenses are coming. So that loop that we did, and we talked about the itinerary in our first video, um, we, we did 11,300 miles border to border. Yep. We purchased a little over 1,100 gallons in diesel. Wow. That was a lot of diesel, about $5,700 in diesel. Man. So the minimum, the average price that we paid for diesel was $5.11, and this is all converted. That's the average. That's the average. So that's taking the Canadian purchases, it's yeah. taking the U.S. Alaskan, purchases, converting yeah. everything to gallons, converting everything to U.S. dollars. So the mm. average was $5.11. The cheapest we got was $3.74, and the most expensive was $7.50, and that mm. was up on the Dalton, up at Dead Horse yeah. and Colfoot. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna pay for it up in the Arctic. Oh yeah, there's no down. Yeah, same thing with the dumpster. Um, yep. And then DEF. So that's that was such a small amount, a hundred dollars, and um, we averaged five dollars and forty four cents a gallon. But that's because you bought two boxes at Walmart, yep. and that was down like, in the states. Right, and that was like seven dollars and thirty cents a gallon. Um, but typically at the pump in St. George, we were paying uh, three seventy five for, yeah. for DEF. Yeah, and we we brought some DEF in the the two and a half gallon containers mm -hmm. because you're just not sure when you're going to hit it. Yeah. And there's not a lot of bulk DEF up there. Mm -hmm. uh, Prince George, it's too cold. Anchorage had it. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we filled up when we could, but mm -hmm. and we, we just made it. Yeah, we were always topping off for the most part when yeah. we could. So uh, of the 150 days that we were gone, um, we filled up 50 times. Man, it felt like it too. Cause <laughs> it was every day, every travel man, day. My arm was getting sore of pumping that uh, diesel in there. Yeah, so I think we had, <laughs> I, 
was it 100 travel Gosh. days and we filled up 50 times with it it's so like every other day it is and curiosity's fuel capacity is 66, 66 gallons. gallons yeah and we averaged 25 gallons per fill up yeah so i freak out if our tank if any of our tanks are less than third you know two, uh, two thirds two, full three fourths full three fourths <laughs> you're sometimes not she can go to two, two thirds, thirds. Sometimes yeah she goes to two i start thirds. panicking um so yeah so we were filling up but there's a lot of fuel available, whether it's diesel or there gasoline, is. on on any of the Alaska roads except for one. Yeah, and yeah. The that, Dalton. The Dalton between yeah. Coalfoot, Coalfoot and Dead Horse. Yep. And that's 245 miles. That is correct. So, so if you um, can't go 245 miles, you either don't want to go on Dalton yeah. or you need to bring a few extra cans. Exactly. So, um, but we averaged 225 miles between Phillips. Yeah. With a minimum. <laughs> Huh. of 20. So I may have been panicking about fuel, but a certain someone, <laughs> uh, we filled up in Dawson and right before we got on the dumpster, we stopped and filled again. That's and a 20 like mile 20 trip. Miles. So we went 20 miles. I, went, I just wanted to make sure yeah, that we, we had enough. We were starting off with a full tank. Yeah, well, we did. Um, because we also, and I'll go into that number in a little bit, but we um, are diesel generator runs off the same fuel tanks mm -hmm. as the Curiosity engine. So I didn't mind you fill, topping off whenever possible because we always need that's power. That's right, yep, that's exactly right. And, and the most we drove was 448 miles. Yep. And that was just to get through back down from the dumpster and get to Whitehorse with some decently priced fuel. Yep, that's so, exactly um, right. Yeah, so. So that, that, that worked out really well uh, for us. All right, the next expense, Number three, I'm going to say, because I'm getting tired of hearing about all this expenses, I'm going to say camper nights. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> so in uh, our very first video of this three of this four part series, we talked about our itinerary and we posted our itinerary on our Facebook group, Big Truck, Big Travels. Mm -hmm. And I just went ahead and put what our campground fees at every single stop. So this, for, for those of you um, who saw the spreadsheet and has it open up, um, you know that we spent uh, $3,460 in campground fees. Mm. Now, a few little interesting statistics. Um, mm. It took us 151 days border to border, um, plus the three days at, at uh, at sea, but I'm not including that in the 151. Mm -hmm. What percent did we boondock and what percent were we on hookups? Oh man, we boondocked a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say like 65% boondocking. <laughs> Close, I wish. 70%. Uh, so 70% wow. of the time we had wow. no hookups and 30% of the time we had some form of hookups. Yeah. So we had stayed at eight campgrounds with full hookups and five campgrounds with just electric. Yeah, 70% boondocking. Yeah, 70% boondocking. Wow. Okay. And to give you guys an idea of campground fees, uh, we, had, we spent a total of uh, $2,000 2024, uh, $2,000 with an average of $45 per night uh, minimum was $20 at a Passport America, and yep. the maximum was $61. So, again, our average was $45. Yeah, and I got a little bit upset because Marathon Campground oh, in Seward, oh, yeah. they went from first come, first serve to reservations, but they also doubled their price from $20 to $40. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, with a no hookup site. If yeah. you go on one of these premium sites, you're talking $55 that right. gives you power. So yeah. it was, uh, yeah, I was a little perturbed when I saw that, but you know, everything's gone up, mm -hmm. so. So just because we were boondocking for 106 days, doesn't mean it was free. Um, a lot of people That's associate right. boondocking with free camping, but we spent $1,430 boondocking with no hookups whatsoever. Yeah. Um, now, some of those places are free. Uh, yeah, they the are. The lookouts and the pull-offs and such. Yeah. But uh, when we stayed at a city campground. Or the provincial parks. Or the provincial parks, mm -hmm. even though it's boondocking, it's still not free. Right. So. And so we averaged boondocking $14 a night. Um, but the um, 
uh, the maximum that we ever paid was $44, and that was at Seward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for, for no hookups. But hey, dump and fill was, was part of it. Yep. And most of the campgrounds there, the dumping and filling is part of it, and I'll go in that in just a little well, bit. Well, it's, you know, it's a beautiful site right there on Resurrection Bay. So yeah. So you, you hard can't to complain. complain too much yep. about it. Yeah. Um, unless the sea lions are partying at night and you can't get any sleep. So really? what's the next expense? All right. So number... I lost count. Four. Um, so this one, is two, number three, four. four. Five. So we talked about excursions, fuel, maintenance. Oops. <laughs> we didn't talk about maintenance. Oh, we sure didn't, did we? That's right. So number four is going to be maintenance. Yes, I didn't resort my file. So um, actually, uh, number three is maintenance. Oh. So when we talk about maintenance. Well, we just talked about camper nights. We did, and I messed up. So I didn't have them in the okay. right order. So let me hurry up and find maintenance. So maintenance, we spent basically $4,200 in maintenance. Oh, yeah. And repairs. Okay, but there's some caveats here. Yeah. Uh, because we wouldn't have needed to spend that much. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent a good portion of that was on tires. Yeah, so 20, almost $2,700, we got Curiosity, a whole new set of tires. Yeah, and um, we didn't need to do no. that. It was more for our peace of mind, mm -hmm. a little bit of insurance. Mm -hmm. We were getting ready to go on Dalton and we had that little chunk out of one of the tires. Yeah. So for peace of mind, could we have made it yes. looking back? Oh, I think so. I think so too. We could too. have definitely made it. Yeah, it would have been no problem. but. At the time, we didn't know we wanted the trip to go off as smoothly as possible. And so we got a set of tires. Right. And so for us, we don't have a spare and we weren't carrying the Jeep. So we yep. didn't want to break down because of a tire issue. Yeah, exactly. And as crazy as it sounds, but off the production floor, this Thor Class C, no spare tire. Yeah. Now they are, you know, 19.5 tires, commercial grade. But still, there was mm -hmm. no spare. Mm -hmm. And we really didn't have the time to install one uh, based on everything else we were carrying. Mm -hmm. So that's something we'll look at in the future, right. definitely. Right. And so the other maintenance expense that we had was just the general like oil change on Curiosity. Um, so that kind of threw me for a loop because you know, I'm used to the truck and we get the truck serviced once a year. Mm -hmm. um, but with curiosities was like every 10,000 10, miles, miles or something. So we, we hit that. We were just, I mean, within a couple of miles of hitting the 10,000 mile mark. Yeah. So we spent $471. Um, we got that done in Fairbanks at yep. um, and there. And then we also um, at that Gabe's Yep, truck Gabe's and, truck and uh, RV. Right, so they also service the uh, Onan generator. So yep. we were, we've been running the generator quite a bit, so we needed to get that service, and that was $150. Um, so total cost for maintenance was basically $2,300. And then repairs. So, you know, no travel is without incident, and we did have That's one true. major repair. Yeah. And that was... McCarthy. Yep, the carnage. infamous stairs. Yeah. Uh, our steps got crushed and were not <laughs> operable at all. Mm -hmm. And so we just went the rest of the uh, trip with them crushed like that. Yeah. But I replaced them. Uh, yeah, and that was seven hundred fifty. We got back. Yeah, yeah. And that's seven hundred fifty. But I replaced them with an upgraded version that has two steps and yeah. not just one. So now the so. kids can actually, the grandkids can actually get up in Curiosity a lot yeah, easier because they're going to be using it when we're not using it. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be little doodles all over the walls. Hopefully not. Um, so another category that I have under under maintenance um, and repair and R and M is car washes. We spent a hundred, actually only one hundred forty five dollars cleaning Curiosity. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Given uh, all the roads and yeah. such that we were on. Yeah, really muddy and yucky. Roads, so. And then 40 bucks in windshield wipers and yep. um, solution and all that other stuff. So a total of a little over $4,200 in maintenance and repair. Yeah, and so for most people, you're not going to have... You're not going to have that. Near that much. Yeah, maybe six six $600. Um, so, okay. All right. So, so now we're on to number five? We are... Number five, man, I've lost track of um, okay. all these well, categories. Oh, I know what it is because it's getting close to dinner time. I'm getting a little hungry. <laughs> Food. Food, that's right. Yes. Um, so we 
for the total of the trip, we spent $4,200 in food over the course of, it was actually six months, even though border to border, we were there for five. Yeah. Our total trip was six months because we left Alabama at the beginning of April. Yeah. Um, so our average for food, for eating out and everything was uh, $750 per month. Um, and I break it down. So I have food, uh, we spent $2,600 in food. And you guys may have noticed on Curiosity, we have a soda stream and we have it hard, not hard wired, but hard plumbed. Yeah, into a bigger tank. Into a bigger CO2 tank because those little tiny cylinders are just stupid expensive. She uses those in like, like three days. I do. Um, so we spent $200 in CO2. Thank goodness we were able to find it. Um, and household supplies, you know, like again, over the course of the trip, you know, the toilet paper, paper towel, um, plastic bags yep. and that sort of thing. Uh, office supplies, um, almost $500. And then eating out. So we spent $906 eating out this time. And how I categorize eating out with our expenses, and that's any type of convenience food. It's not just going to a restaurant. So the, the couple of four times that we got cinnamon rolls, um, you know, for like six bucks, that was, I call eating, eating out. out. Uh, every time we stopped and got Chester's chicken, that's eating out because yep. that's a convenience food. Um, so like if you go in and you get a little plate of sushi at Kroger or Publix or something, yep. then I call that eating, eating out. out. Um, so any convenience food, something you don't make yourself. Yeah, exactly. And there's a note here. We've tried on two different trips now to Alaska, we've tried the cinnamon rolls at four different places. And we're just not I, crazy yeah. about the cinnamon rolls. I will say, in uh, Dawson Creek, the Tim Hortons oh. had fantastic apple fritter. <laughs> they so were good. That was the best. Tim Hortons actually, donuts are good from a pastry standpoint. Yeah, but. that that was really good. Um, so I know there's been a lot of questions about Man. the meal boxes. <laughs> So, food, so many. food is very expensive in Alaska. I mean, unless you get to the major cities like Anchorage and Fairbanks <sighs> and the Walmarts there are the same price pretty much as the lower 48. Yeah, um, crazy and expensive. We knew that going into it. So that's why I wanted to stock up as much as possible on pantry items. So the food that we bought in Alaska was almost $1,100. It was almost all perishable items. Our number one expense was produce at $240, yeah. and then dairy products at 170, cheese, 160. Um, we did buy some junk food for $100, and seafood and meat was about $150. Um, so that kind of, and then the categories keep going, so that kind of gives you an idea of how much I break it down. And see. we got saved on the seafood because some of our friends gave us some yeah, salmon. Yeah, some people that we met. Which was really nice. Yeah, gave us, so we, between the halibut, the salmon, and the crab, um, yep. we were very well stocked in seafood. And yeah. we still actually, I think I still have, what, two more pounds <laughs> in the freezer we still have to eat. So, yeah, um, that was good. But yeah, so the, the meal boxes. Um, I the 73 pound meal boxes per, per box per box there's five boxes at 70 pounds each Man, and um, heavy. yeah and so the average box cost three hundred dollars and that included all the the, the pantry type items um, a lot of cereal a lot of cereal because yeah. you know cereal Oatmeal. Let's say we we average four dollars and fifty cents a box on cereal in Alaska. It's ten. It's this magic number of ten. Yeah. Everything, no matter where you go, it's ten dollars a box. Really, tomato soup because we didn't want to get it up there, so we yeah we're stocked um, up with that. Yeah, and a lot of different other supplies. And we actually ended up eating almost everything. Um, I had a we surplus did. on flour and canned tomatoes. Yep. Um, but we ate just about we everything did. else. That we was really amazing. We did, yeah. So it was totally worth it. Uh, again, in summary, the boxes were set eighteen hundred dollars, and the food was eleven hundred that we bought in Alaska. Eating out was nine hundred. So net net, we spent um, four forty two hundred dollars in food. Yeah. And so if you average okay. that out per month, that's seven hundred fifty dollars. But yeah. we had we had some high expensive things. We did. Like we had some freeze dried broccoli, hamburger, and chicken. And yeah. We had some good food. We did. We we yeah. unfortunately we we were sitting a lot in the car and and we were eating a lot and <laughs> and I gained about twelve pounds. So I got to get with it. All right. So the last last one category. Man, what are we missing? 
Um, we just talked about all those quarters. Oh yeah, yeah. Utilities. Utilities, laundry. Yeah. Okay. So um, I lump laundry, dumping and filling, propane, all that goes under utilities. So we spent thirteen hundred and sixty-five dollars in utilities. Okay. So what that includes is that also includes almost seven hundred dollars in generator fuel. Um, for oh, so almost half of that for curiosity. Yeah, so Ooh, diesel half, yeah. so diesel fuel for curiosity yep. um, We ran the generator for 272 hours and um, Of the hundred and six days of no hookups a hundred mm -hmm. days. We ran the generator yep. um, So if you look at the cost per day to run the generator that ended up being like six dollars and fifty five cents Yeah, so not bad. So not even bad. though like your average camping fee was seventeen dollars You know you should technically add that extra seven dollars yeah. um, to your camper fee So which which I do eventually roll that up in there um, and what really saved our bacon um, as far as fuel costs oh, was yeah. when we got Curiosity and we were doing the batteries, yep. we hooked our lithium battery bank up to the secondary alternator. Yep, so we were charging our battery bank mm -hmm. while we're driving down the road. Right. And, and there was a distinctive was correlation, huge. just, you know, just generically speaking, on a travel day, we only ran the generator for an hour and a half a day. But on a non-travel day, we were running the generator for four hours. So that just goes to show yep. by having us being able to charge the batteries from the alternator, we really cut our generator time significantly. Um, so the next biggest expense under utilities was actually laundry. Um, we ended up spending like $425, but Laundry's in expensive Alaska, Canada, we spent $386. So. As far as availability of laundry, um, I did laundry 23 times and I did 77 loads, which averaged $5 per load. And you track how many loads? Yes. 77. Yeah. <laughs> so I know how much our average cost is for, for laundry detergent and everything. Just don't ask. Don't ask. Anyhow, so our minimum. <laughs> was 77. hush our minimum was two dollars and 75 cents and oddly enough huh. that was not on the ferry because the ferry oh really yeah i thought the ferry would be the cheapest but i thought it, it was wasn't. a deal but glowing embers rv park the oh, last Edmonton. rv park in Ed that we went to that's what it was by the time you wow. do the canadian exchange rate and the most expensive was $10 Canadian up at Dawson City, which averaged to be $7.35 per load. Oh, and that's wow. to wash and to dry. Yeah. So yeah. that's, yeah, so we spent Man. that much money uh, doing laundry, 77 loads in 23 different places. Yeah, that's a lot of laundry. That was a lot of laundry. <laughs> it's like a load every other day yeah, almost. Yeah, it, it was. And we were stopping, yeah, once a week basically yeah. to do laundry. So plenty of laundry facilities available. Yeah, plenty. Um, next time we go, we're gonna have our own washer and dryer which will be really nice not have to mess with it yep okay so the next expense that we had was um i'm gonna have to add this up in my head real quick uh 274 dollars for propane mm -hmm. and i break propane out between what goes in curiosity versus what goes in the 20 pound propane tank so um for curiosity we spent 150 dollars uh, we filled Curiosity up five times. Mm -hmm. um, an average fuel was four hundred uh, four hundred four dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, so Curiosity did really well on the onboard yes. propane tank. Very efficient. I thought we efficient. were going to blow through that. I was I really worried, but propane is so readily available. Every fuel station, mm -hmm. virtually every fuel station, has propane available, and for the onboard yeah. uh, tanks which is nice it's great. and we didn't use a lot of fuel on board uh -uh. and i'll get to that in a second um and then your 20 pound propane tank mm -hmm. we filled seven times for 121 dollars averaging four dollars and 64 cents a gallon yeah so so yeah. that did really well and i think what helped us 
Um, we may have shown this in one of our other videos. Um, we had to do some little modifications to our heating system yes. um, to better the snorkel <laughs> distribute the heat, and I think that made a huge difference. So we didn't have to run think so. the the, the uh, heater as much, yep. and we used the gas buddy. And because you have those one pound pro refillable propane tanks, mm -hmm. and you were filling those almost every day, I think. To almost about every other day, I was filling those, uh -huh. and they made a huge difference too, because it's really efficient, keeps it nice and warm, and then overnight we the would gas buddy. turn yeah. on the uh, uh, propane, the furnace, mm -hmm. and uh, then keep it uh, at a nice temperature right. throughout the evening. And you guys saw it. it's wearing the parka almost all summer. Um, maybe he can pop up the, um, the picture on my bullet journal where I have the average temperatures per day. Um, so you can kind oh, yeah. of see what the temperatures were. It was cool. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> okay, it's and cool, then man. the last expense was dumping and filling. How much do you think we spent on that? And before you answer the question, we dumped and filled 14 times, we dumped four times, and we filled two times. How much did all that cost us? $100. Close. Divide by 10. Ten dollars. Oh wow! We, we only spent. I 10, did good. You did really well. We only spent ten dollars dumping and filling because of those that we dumped and filled at. Um, they were either the, the the it was in the price of the campground yep. fee, yep. or you got it was free with Philip, like at Toke and Whitehorse. You get free with Philip. Yep, Soldotna. Soldotna yep. at the Fred Meyer. So yep. he, a lot of places uh, to dump and fill yeah. uh, in Alaska. Mm -hmm. So there was no issue there. Right. Yeah. So so yeah. So that worked out really well. It's mildly worried about that, but yep. even on the Dalton and the Dempster. Yeah, the only Somehow. time was the Dempster because everything started closing. But yeah. if things were open, there would be a, a fair amount on the Dempster even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for normal travelers, you shouldn't have a problem. But yeah. for us, you know, we were, <laughs> we were cutting it close. Yeah. All right, so were you adding all that up in your head as we were going along, Mr. Wow. Calculator? Yeah, actually, I kind of was. <laughs> it's less than 30, I think. Barely. <laughs> Barely. So our total cost was $29,771. Wow. Wow. Less yeah. than 30. <laughs> yes, it was. But, but you know, cool. again, that was over, essentially it was over, that was over a six month yeah. period or these numbers are actually over a five month period. Yeah. And obviously for us, uh, because we live this lifestyle, mm -hmm. we would have spent some of this money had we been down in the lower 48 as well. Not all the tours and things like that and buying salmon oh, yes. and stuff, but we w some of this would have been yeah, normal so, living. So food was, con uh, food know. was high for us because yeah. of specialty, but fuel was the same, you're right, so, maintenance and repair. A little under 30,000, all right. So. That was a good trip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, it was, it was a, was a very, very good, good trip. trip. Mm -hmm. yeah. Had a blast, so. Yeah. Is, uh, so I guess that's it for expenses. That's it. Yes. Whew. Okay, I made it. I still have some hair on my head. And I haven't dumped you in the lake yet. Not with, yet. Uh, some bricks, even though I see some around here. Not yet. But you've so. got, you're an awesome travel planner. We had an amazing time. It was fun. And we've got some really cool things coming up these next 12 months. Yeah. So. Yeah, we don't, we don't stop. We continue traveling. It's mm -hmm. just going to be in the lower 48. Mm -hmm. But we've got some great things planned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, but hopefully it won't average $6,000 a month. No, it won't. We'll be le it'll be a lot less this it coming be. year. It better be. Be. We need to have a new Better spend be. year one of these years. Well, yeah, yeah, those aren't as fun as the spend years. No. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. All right, so hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope you're not asleep uh, here at the end of this video, but I uh, hope you're uh, getting ready to pack your bags and travel along with us. Wheels will be rolling next oh, year. Yeah. Yep. See ya. Yeah.